guys so today i'm doing this weird look for you guys i know you guys are probably like what the heck is on her face it's just a look that i did for edc day two and i just wanted to show you guys how to recreate this look you could totally skip the glitter and just wear it as a um as a look all the products that i used are going to be down in the description below so if you want to see how to recreate this look then please keep on watching hey guys so today i'm doing ec day two look and i already did my foundation um powder and eyebrows because you guys seen that a million times already i just went really light on it and i didn't put anything under the under eye because we're going to be putting glitter there so yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, so to prime my eyes, I'm just gonna use this new product that I got, it's by Jordana, and it's the eye primer. I don't know how this is gonna work. I didn't use this in Vegas. Um, oops. I just wanted to try out this product real quick. It's very smooth. I don't think I mentioned this, but all the products that I used, um, will be in the description below. And next is to create a base. I'm just gonna use this um, jumbo eye pencil from LA Colors and it's in the color Vacation. And it's just a purple jumbo eye pencil. I'm just putting this all over my lid. And then I'm just gonna blend it out with this kind of kabuki angled blending brush. And just keep adding and adding until like you're satisfied with the payoff. And to cover the jumbo eye pencil, I'm just gonna use my uh, BH Cosmetics 120 eyeshadow palette. And don't mind it; it's all messy and everything because I've had this. For like about two years now again don't mind the messiness <laughs> I was like mission of this pink and this pink right here these two and put it all over my lid and to apply that I'm just gonna use a regular um, blender brush I'm kind of just kind of blending it up to the crease and to make it a little bit more pinky I'm just gonna take this hot pink down here this one right here and I'm just gonna add it to the lid as well I'm gonna use a um, flat shader brush to do so I'm just gonna take um, a blending brush and just kind of blend that out I'm just gonna add a little bit of color to the lower lash line. So I'm just gonna take the hot pink. I know this is, doesn't look like 120 eyeshadows, but there's like another layer. So don't be fooled. So just on top of that, I'm just gonna add a little bit of this shimmery color on the bottom right here. It's like almost gone because um, that was the color I used the most when I first got this palette. So there's hardly anything in there because me and gold were just like best friends back then man i'm telling you i'm gonna put a little bit like right in the center and just blend out my finger and do the same over here and just kind of blend it to my finger and i'm just gonna take the rest whatever's left and i'm just gonna put it in the center over here too and to add a little bit more depth i'm just gonna add this um dark brown in my crease And just to add something to my waterline, I'm just gonna put this um, LA Color Auto Pencil in the color. The color came off of it, I think it's like brown or coffee. I'm just gonna put that in my waterline. I'm 
Next, we are just gonna do eyeliner because I'm pretty much done with the eyes. And I'm trying to make this as small as possible because I don't feel like wearing lashes today. I don't know why every time I do this eye, it always ends up going like straight and this one goes like up. Does that happen to anyone else? Girl problems, man. And sometimes I just leave it because I was like, you know what? And then the other side, the other wing becomes thicker, so I have to like make this side thicker. Okay, so I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes and put mascara on. Again, I probably, I don't feel like doing lashes today. Oh, do you guys see that? And I'm just going to add my um, Rocket Valley Mascara by Maybelline. Hi, baby. Hi. I want you hi, baby. Say hi, baby. Hi. Okay, bye. Say bye, baby. Bye, baby. But yeah, anyways, want to know why I keep looking up there? It's because um, so I can see myself. Um, yeah, I have a mirror back there so I can see myself because my camera doesn't have um, a viewfinder. So I wanted to see how that will work out so that's why i keep looking up there instead of into the camera i am so sorry so like i was thinking i want to do like a challenge i was probably thinking like the no mirror makeup challenge or like i know it's really old but i kind of want to do it or the three three minute three minute challenge where you put like makeup in three minutes or i don't know what do you guys think i'm gonna do my lips before i do the glitter. So I'm going to use two products. I'm just going to use the ColourPop Lippy Stick and Brink. And then I'm going to use NYX's Soft Matte Lip Cream and Antwerp. First I'm going to use the ColourPop Brink. I'm just going to put this um, all over my lips. And I'm just going to use the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and put it over. Okay, so now for the fun part, um, I'm going to use the same two glitters that I used in my previous video, the silver glitters. First, I'm just going to use the um, glitter eyeliner and I'm going to try to make, I'm going to make a triangle shape under my eye, like my eye bags became like glitter. So I was like the whole concept of this thing. So I'm going to do that before I used um, my glue adhesive, but um... I know that's really bad for your skin, but I did it anyway because I didn't have anything else to hold the loose glitter. So um, I just used my glue ad adhesive. I mean, I didn't break out or anything. I'm just saying it probably was really bad for my skin and this probably is too. What am I saying? Um, you can actually stop here and this could be totally a wearable look, um, but I didn't go for wearable. So you guys already know that. So I'm going to do that. And also, before I start, I just want to make it clear that I did wear glitter on my eyebrows and I was stupid. I put glitter on my eyebrows and then I put the glitter and when I got back from um, the event, I went to wash off my face and the glitter wouldn't come off. So, me stupidly thinking, I was like, oh, maybe I should just, you know, kind of get my uh, makeup remover and just, you know, rub it until it comes off. Um, it took off like the first half 
of my brows. That's really freaking embarrassing. I can't believe I said that to you guys. But yeah, so that was a mistake and I'm not doing that today for you guys. But if you want, you could go to my Instagram and check out the picture. I did have glitter on my eyebrows. I thought that was a pretty cool idea until I got home. I mean, to back to the hotel. And I'm just gonna take my um, silver glitter. And I'm just gonna take whatever's left on the brush. I'm just gonna put it um, wherever is necessary or wherever I want it. So guys, this is the finished look. Like I said before, there is a lot of glitter. It could be totally wearable if you just tuck away the glitter. So like I said before, I did put glitter like on my eyebrow. Um, I saw it somewhere. I don't know who did that. I don't know, it just popped in my head that day. I was like, oh, maybe I should put glitter because I don't have enough on my face. <laughs> So I did that and it was just a horrible mistake. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on my social medias. It will be listed down here somewhere. And yeah, um, I'll talk to you guys later and see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>